Hi there, I'm Melanie with Simple Made Pretty, and in this video, I'm sharing how I organize my Cricut craft room using Dollar Tree containers. I use lots of products in my craft studio, but my favorite has to be my Cricut supplies. Cricut doesn't make it easy to organize all of your vinyl, cutting mats, tools, and other crafting equipment, so I came up with some DIY organizing ideas using Dollar Tree containers to keep everything neat and tidy. Here are some tips for storing and organizing it all. Keep watching to see my Cricut craft room ideas. Craft room design was inspired by Lindsay Creates and I linked her account in the description so be sure to give her a follow. For my craft room I used inexpensive storage containers and bins to organize my Cricut essentials. It's space saving and cheap. I linked everything in the video description and I include detailed instructions in this video on how I organized my bookcases. The bookcases with my craft supplies are on a small wall and one bookcase sticks out from the wall separating the office from the sitting room. We added a floor to ceiling curtain to separate the rooms and create a wall divider. We secured the bookcases to the wall and to each other with the parts included in the IKEA bookcase packaging. I've had many questions about the containers I use and 99% of the containers are from Dollar Tree. You'd be surprised what you can find at Dollar Tree to organize your home. I highly recommend you order multiple items online, otherwise you will be making several trips to several stores looking for enough containers to organize your craft room. At the time I filmed this video, I had not removed the Dollar Tree labels yet, but I'll remove them soon. The scallop containers are perfect to hold up to five rolls of vinyl. I removed the cardboard insert and wrapped mine with rubber bands so they don't take up too much space. You can find these containers in the catering section at Dollar Tree. And these store all of my heat transfer vinyl. I had a lot of vinyl, so I used larger containers from a home edit container bundle from Walmart to organize my rolls with the Cricut vinyl. Be sure to check my link in the description to see where I find the best deals to find Oracle 651 vinyl. Dollar Tree catering candy jars are perfect to hold lots of small items and I use them to hold pom-poms, wood beads, and small ornaments. I used several Dollar Tree clear drawer organizers to hold small items such as small felt craft supplies, washi tape, popsicle sticks, and I color coded these drawers to go with the rest of the shelves. I have a shelf for Cricut Joy vinyl and scrap vinyl. Some of the rolls are Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl, the ones with the white edge, and the rest are larger pieces of scraps that I cut evenly down to five and a half inches and rolled up to use later with my Cricut Joy machine or if I need a larger scrap for my Cricut Explore Air 2 and 3 machines. I use Dollar Tree envelope pouches to organize smaller vinyl scraps. I saw this hack on TikTok and I don't recall who shared it to give credit, so sorry. Just attach the color of the vinyl on the top tab and it's so simple and keeps everything neat and tidy. These vinyl scraps are perfect to use with the Cricut Joy Machine. Speaking of the Cricut Joy Machine, I have mine tucked away in a case on the bottom shelf with the other machines. My Cricut Easy Press Mini is also in the storage bag. I store all of my Cricut cutting machines on the bottom shelf because they are the heaviest items on the shelves. I have other craft machines on a bar cart, this one is collapsible, which holds my Cricut Autopress, our color printer scanner, and my sewing machine. The Cricut Autopress is very heavy and having it on a movable bar cart makes it easier to move around my craft room if I need to. I use Dollar Tree adhesive hooks to hang my Cricut cutting mats on the back side of the bookcase that sticks out from the wall. You don't see them at all when the curtain is closed. I organize my yarn using the leftover home edit containers in the bundle, and I organize my ribbon by using a dowel at the top of the bookcase, and I drilled the holes larger to accommodate the width of the dowel. I organize my sewing supplies by color in the Dollar Tree trifle bowls, including sewing thread, sewing bobbins, bias tape, lace, rickrack, and embroidery thread.
Behind each trifle bowl is a Dollar Tree basket with larger sewing items that don't fit in the bowl. I didn't want to waste the space on the shelf behind the Dollar Tree containers, so I added the baskets hidden in the back. I had an extra shelf on my bookcase, so I used it to organize the felt in my craft room. Some of my felt pieces are stiff and some are easily rolled up. I did place some felt flat on the shelf and rolled the rest. I have more IKEA fabric bins and other large sewing items which are stored in the cabinets in our office sitting room. I organized my paint and coordinating colors in Dollar Tree baskets facing so you can easily see the paint colors. I had space behind the baskets which I used to organize paint brushes, sponge brushes, paint markers, and larger paint tubes. These Cricut tool organizers are from Uniquely Why Not. They are very affordable and come in many different colors to match your craft room. I went with the rose gold to match our office decorations. They hold markers, blades, and Cricut basic tools. I got the tabletop trash can as well. I highly recommend these if you have a Cricut machine. I used a leftover home edit bin to organize the eight and a half by 11 cardstock on the shelf below. For my cardstock shelves, I picked up a sheet of hardboard from my local home improvement store and I had them cut down to 14 and a half by 12 inch squares to fit inside the bookcase. I used plastic shelf pins around $1.50 for a pack of eight and drilled the book bookcase hole slightly bigger to fit the shelf pins. I had to attach this bookcase away from the wall by around one inch and I did not attach the backing to the bookcase so the sheets would fit inside. I used a Dollar Tree catering tray and several small candy jars to organize smaller items including small wood beads, magnets, extra bobbins, goofy eyeballs, and buttons and safety pins. I used a plate organizer to store pre-made envelopes that I used with Cricut Made greeting cards. I used an Ikea table with a large piece of plywood on top and Dollar Tree marble contact paper as my craft room table. I used this table to video record DIY projects and take pictures of my creations. My kids also love to use it as their little craft space. Our home office desk workspace is on the opposite wall of my craft room bookcases. You can see how we decorated this wall at simplemadepretty.com. I hope these ideas and organization hacks will help you create the perfect Cricut craft room to suit your needs. I spend a lot of time with my Cricut craft supplies. These are cheap, easy, and space-saving ways to organize craft supplies in a Cricut craft room. Use the Dollar Tree supplies mentioned in this tutorial to organize Cricut craft supplies, sewing supplies, and art supplies in one place. Don't forget to shop our home office and craft room using the links in the description. I included all of my favorite Cricut products as well. The total cost to create my Cricut craft room was around $750. That also included the cost of three large bookcases. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of my Cricut craft room. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.